Hi guys! I've had quite a lot of you send me messages asking about what to do for your wrists as part of your yoga practice. So I just wanted to cover some of the forest yoga wrist stretches that we do and some of the other things that I do to help keep my wrists and forearms healthy, especially when working inversions or a regular yoga practice that has you on your hands a lot. So a lot of times all through people's day they're doing a lot of actions that involve a tightening action in the hand, whether that is grabbing a steering wheel or typing. So your yoga practice needs to do a lot of stuff to actually open up and spread the palm, but again a lot of it is that holding, almost holding the ground and gripping. So one of the things you can do is begin to balance the books by both stretching the hands and doing different strengthening exercises that can help build a little bit more support. So beginning with some of the forest yoga wrist stretches, if you send your right palm forwards and take a hold of the pinky finger with the index and middle finger of the other hand and use the thumb to support the knuckle, inhaling to spread the palm, exhale pulling back on the pinky finger, spreading the hand bones and reaching the heel of the hand down towards the ground. You then work that in sequence on each finger, then to get into the thumb you're actually hooking into something that I call the anatomical snuff box. So sticking your thumb in there, index and middle finger hold onto the thumb of the other hand and then spreading wide there so you get a really big stretch along those muscles that are usually pretty tight. Once you've done both hands, moving into a different exercise. Hands are coming out to the side, bringing the thumbs down and wrapping four fingers around the thumbs as if you were holding onto two jugs of water. Taking a deep breath in, Exhale, pouring so the pinky edge of the hand is moving closer to the ground and squeezing the hands about 60%. It's a pretty firm squeeze. Next exercise. Spreading the hands, so the hands are reaching away, bringing the four fingers down, thumbs wrap over the top and dragging the knuckles down towards the ground. This creates a pretty strong stretch over the top of the forearms. The one that I tend to not miss out is from either a sitting position or a kneeling position is setting the fingers so they're actually pointing towards your shin bones, spreading the fingers, thumbs are up, exhale reaching the base of the fingers towards the ground so the palms are actually still up. Taking another breath here, exhale heel of the hand moves down towards the ground, shoulders down. I tend to spend more time on this one than that, so maybe about five breaths stretching into that part. Some of the other work that I do, when I'm working on my forearms a lot, especially if I'm doing a lot of aerial, the forearms can start to feel really tight. So by pinching, so if you can see just here, this line here, pinching down hard to index and middle finger, the thumb is supporting the other side, and getting between the bones and then actually moving the forearm around. So you're actually beginning to feel for pressing into the space between the ulna and the radius. And doing those rotations on both sides and working up and down the bone, or bones, right down towards the wrist bones and actually working that quite a bit as you go. This is usually, if I've been doing loads of chaturangas, loads of handstands, the forearms start to feel really locked up, really blocked up, so that can actually help clear that out a little bit. Another one that I do with my vinyasa classes, which is never usually that popular, is a flicking action, as if you've got water on your fingertips. So it is going from this closed paw position to a flick out, and then doing that for about 30 seconds and it should feel really tiring through the forearms and I'm doing that at least four or five times a week. Also when I'm working in my yoga practice I'm not always on my hands when I'm doing things like down dog. I spend a lot of time in dolphin. So if I'm going to do a hold like that, so in my yoga practice I don't do down dog holds, I don't do them at all, so we're there for a breath. If I was going to do any of those holds, I'd probably be on my forearms, either forearms clasped or forearms parallel, so I can actually start to create a little bit more support through these guys, the heavy lifters, rather than through the hands. So there's not a lot of support here, there's a lot of support up here. So I prefer to do that. Same if I injure my wrists, whatever it is, if I've fallen over or something, then I will tend to spend a lot of time after that working on my forearms, even just missing out chaturanga altogether or even working on fists, working that way. It depends on what the wrist thing is, but usually getting these bones in line and lowering down and taking the strain off. I'm also a big fan when it comes to my yoga practice wearing wrist support gloves. So you may have seen some of my demos where I'm doing really intense poses. I'm wearing gloves because I don't have time necessarily to warm 
my wrist up as fully as I'd like to for some of these events that I do in public. So it's like a thick band of support that's coming down the forearm, wrapping around the wrist pretty tight, as well as a little bit of padding at the heel of the hand. I find that works really well. Lately, people have been picking up that I'm using an extra folded up yoga mat that's pure, purely for self-indulgence. I want a little extra padding, then I can be more comfortable. And for those that sort of write in saying, oh, I don't want to use any padding, I don't see why you wouldn't do that. So that's just a couple of little tips for wrist stuff. This is just this first live video for the YouTube channel. I'm gonna put more stuff up on there. Feel free to comment about anything that you would like more pointers on. This is a much easier way for me to deliver this and I can deliver it in comfort in my own home. I got my dog, Annie. Um, so if you ever get any questions, drop it in the comment section and I will do my best to put up something for you even if it's just a really quick and direct answer. Or leave a comment and we can set up a regular Facebook or YouTube live. Okay, start implementing this wrist stuff in your practice. Let me know how you get on. All right, guys, have a good one.